The question, as we come to 2 Corinthians chapter 10, is authority, Paul's authority. Here Paul makes a shift from the general pattern of his letter addressing problems in the church to dealing with a personal problem with the church. Now, don't get me wrong. The majority of Christians in the church at Corinth supported Paul's authority as an apostle and church leader. But there were others that continued to slander and question him. Here's what they said. It's there in verse 10. Paul's letters are demanding and forceful, but in person, he's weak and his speeches are worthless. So Paul begins his response to this group of antagonists back in verse 1. And I'd encourage you to read the chapter for yourself. But for just a second, let's look at what I believe is a great pattern in Paul's response. A pattern that we can use when people come against us unjustly. First, Paul responds with gentleness and kindness. Now I, Paul, appeal to you with the gentleness and kindness of Jesus. Please note, Paul isn't raising his voice or beating his chest trying to frighten anyone. He comes to them gentle and kind, just like Jesus would. Next, Paul responds to the battle practically and spiritually. Paul knows that the battle is not against flesh and blood, but the enemy of our soul, and it always is. So he suggests using God's mighty weapons to knock down human reasoning and destroy false arguments. And last, Paul responds in a way that pleases God. Paul doesn't compare, he doesn't boast, and he doesn't claim credit for work done by others. Listen to what he says at the end of the chapter. When people commend themselves, it doesn't count for much. The important thing is for the Lord to commend them. So the next time someone comes against you unjustly, remember Paul's response in 2 Corinthians 10 and use it to respond rightly and to glorify God.